Hello everybody, Gene retired in Mexico and here on this channel what we do is we ask one question is the old music better than the new music? A lot of people think so, young and old, but I'm not so sure. I still listen to new music and so this is a bit of a flip around. It's an older person listening to new music. I've never stopped. I love it. And today we're going to look at the band Alabama Shakes. Now this is a band that I know. I've heard and seen a few of their performances and I got mixed opinions about them. Uh, I like their vibe, I like their style, sometimes the singer sounds a little pitchy. I'm curious to see, I've not listened to them in a couple years and so I'm going to look at this fresh. And so here we are, uh, a performance on KEXP, which I really like the KEXP studio. Good job with those folks in Seattle. And, so here's Alabama Shakes, I found out, and I hope you enjoy this as well. that thing when she sang right at the end of that and she really brought the energy up uh, it was good I liked it but you know sometimes I've heard her perform where she's a little screechy or a little off pitch so I uh, love the band I love the songs uh, but sometimes I do react to the singer but I, th I thought she hit that note all right so we'll keep going here Remember all them lonely days I travel out on my own Then you brought me everything And you made my house a home But if it's not the real deal Well, I don't know it Cause it sure does feel And I think it sure does show I remember all them days I waited so patiently For God to bring me somebody Gonna be good to me Wow We'll do a deep dive into the lyrics after this. Well, I a long way. Nice stop and start. Wow, I did enjoy that. 
I did enjoy that quite a bit. Let's take a deep dive into the lyrics. So one of the things I really like about this performance is her guitar. So it's easy to pay attention to the drums and the bass and some of those nice keys, but uh, she just has got the rhythm on that guitar. And uh, not playing any leads, just playing rhythm, and it's really, really perfect. So let's, let's go ahead and do a deep dive into these uh, lyrics. Alabama Shakes, I Found You Lyrics. There we go. And I prefer Genius because it's annotated. So here we go. So she sings, this isn't, uh, I'm sorry about these ads here. This isn't sometimes, yeah, it's for always. Yeah, it's for always, I'm going to love you with all of my heart, and if there's no more time, this always remains, even as the world spins itself apart. So it's a pretty simple line. Uh, it's not annotated here, but the idea that uh, two people can have a bond while the rest of the world seems to be fracturing. Her pre-chorus, because I remember them days I waited so patiently for God to bring someone who's going to be good to me, and then he blessed my soul. So... Yeah, that's that's an interesting lyric because um, you know I uh, I have friends who pray for partners, so it does happen. Other people do not, and so you've got this uh, pre-chorus that's got a definite religious theme to it uh, that gives it that gospel feel, not just in the music but in the lyrics. Well, I traveled a long way. I traveled a long, long way, and it took a long time. It took a long time to find you, but I finally found you. Yeah, relationships can take a long time. And I remember all them lonely days. I traveled out on my own. Then you brought me everything and you made my house a home. But if it's not the real deal, then I don't know it. Because it sure does feel, and I think it sure does show. Let's see here. No annotation on this. So those are very simple lyrics. But that's okay. Yeah. She was alone, and now she's not. You made my house a home. That's interesting. Uh, we think of ourselves as creating a home, but uh, she's saying that her partner made her house a home. That's very nice. I like that. I remember all those days. Okay, there's the pre-chorus again. Then the chorus is, I traveled a long way. I traveled a long, long way, and it sure took a long time to find you. Yeah, but I sure did find you. And he blessed my soul. I traveled a long, long way, and he blessed my soul. It took a long, long time. So again, real gospel influence, and then she just does uh, just the ha ha ahs and the haze and the uhs and the just that at the end. So this is a pretty simple song. Uh, I did like this performance. I thought the band had it together and it had really good rhythm. That was my favorite thing was the rhythm. And the second favorite thing is the gospel feel, both in the music and in the lyrics. So to me, what the Alabama Shakes are, and um, let's see here, I've not, you know, I don't know a lot about them. Let's just look them up real quick on Wikipedia. I'm not even sure where they're from. Uh, let's see here, in Amer Athens, Alabama. Well, if I had said the Alabama Shakes are from Alabama, I would have been making a presumption, right? So I didn't want to do that. Uh, formed in 2009. When we think of Athens, we think of Athens, Georgia, right? So I didn't even know there was an Athens in Alabama. Uh, lead singer Brittany Howard. I'm guessing she wrote or co-wrote the song. They've sold uh, one and a half million albums in the U.S., and let's see here. So you've got a few albums by now. So they're talking about their influences here. Uh, in the early days, their set included covers of Led Zeppelin, James Brown, Otis Redding, and ACDC. Wow. Okay, I never heard all of that in their music. Uh, Howard was a fry cook, then a postal worker, Johnson at the Browns Ferry Nuclear Power Plant. 
Huh, cool. Yeah, a lot of things here I don't know about them. So they have, let's see, they have... Oh, just two albums. They're not that prolific. Boys and Girls in 2012 and Sound and Color in 2015. See, I like that. Uh, you know, she's got a lot of soul in her voice that I didn't think she was too uh, screechy. You know, the, the, the singer that she can sometimes remind me of is Janis Joplin. So Janis Joplin sings with a lot of emotion. And every once in a while, Janis Joplin will hit one of those pitches where you just go like, wow. You just want to close your ears. and uh, But when Joplin's on and when she's understated, she's one of the best singers there was in the 70s. So I kind of feel this way about Brittany. Um, but I thought she nailed it in this performance at KEXP. And the, the thing about the band uh, that makes them a 21st century artist is they are a throwback and they aren't a throwback. So they're taking these... R&B and gospel and rock influences and trying to fuse it into something that's new and fresh and I think by and large they succeed so they are a band that's um, that I like but I you know I think is a just a touch overrated uh, the popularity of the band I kind of get but some of it escapes me so this is a real good piece I give it a B which is a good rating so I appreciate your joining me on this channel. If you like what we're doing, um, make some suggestions, some recommendations. I would love to react to music that, that you're recommending. And also hit the subscribe or like button. And that's pretty much it. I think we'll keep this one short and sweet. So thanks again for joining me. And as we say here in Mexico, buen dia. Take care.